holidays, everyone. My name is Ms. Brigham, and today here at the radio sta TV station, what are we at? Click. Here at the TV station, we're entertaining some of our community children with some stories. But before we get started with the stories, you can watch us as we prepare for the holidays by decorating the tree here at the station. Will everyone please take your holiday decoration and hang it on the tree now, please? Does anyone know what the greatest story ever, ever, ever told was? Santa. Not quite Santa's. Is one even better than Santa Claus? Jesus. Exactly. Is who? Jesus. All right. The story we're going to tell, the very first one, is why we celebrate Christmas. Because of the birth of? Jesus. That's right. There once was a lady named Mary who was going to have a baby. And the baby, of course, is our Lord Jesus Christ. And his birthday is what we celebrate, and that's why we get all the presents on Christmas, because we think in celebration of him. Why? Who gave him presents when he was born? Who gave him presents? Three? Three men. Three wise men, right. And three? Kings, exactly. They brought him beautiful presents of gold and great smelling oils. And this is in celebration because he was the one that's going to save us from everything. Now, who was out in the fields keeping watch over their flocks? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is who we we're talking about, but there were some guys taking serious. Excellent. Say it again. Shepherds. And these shepherds looked up into the sky and they saw a very bright angel. And the angel said, 
Don't be afraid. We've got Christmas special star. All right, there's great news with this special star because they told about the birth of the greatest story ever told. And that is why we have what holiday? Christmas. Christmas. Now, Christmas is a time for giving and caring. And one of my favorite, favorite stories at Christmas is about a reindeer. And his name is Rudolph. Because he had a very shiny Rudolph was a little reindeer, and like lots of us, when reindeers are about, they spend lots of time out in the field. And so everybody was out in the field with their reindeer, and all the reindeer were gathering around, and there was a new reindeer in the group. And he was a little bit different. His mother had named him Rudolph. That's right. But you, the only difference between Rudolph and the other reindeer was something special. Now, did he have horns like the other deer? Yes. And did he have a little short tail? Yes. And four little hoofs? Yeah. Yes. But he had a very shiny nose. And some of the reindeer were not very kind to him. They would call him names, and they say, you can't play with us and they would make him feel awfully bad. But there came a time when his shiny nose was, nose was very helpful. It was getting to be the holiday, and Christmas was very close. As a matter of fact, it was Christmas Eve, and it was getting to be very foggy outside. And when it's foggy, you cannot no. See, you can't see if it's foggy. But there was a reason why it was so foggy. Because sometimes when things happen, it allows you the opportunity to use that person that you don't think is so great. Well, the fog came in and no one could see, and Santa was worried. What am I going to do, he said. I might not be able to deliver all these great presents to all the children of the world. So he called on someone. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And his shiny nose guided him right through that fog to every little boy's and girl's house. And Christmas was saved because Rudolph was different. He had a very shiny nose. And that's the story of Rudolph. OK. The next story I'm going to tell you about is a little bit different. You probably haven't read this one before. It's called Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad. And it's by Mercer Mayer. And this is the story of a little guy and his Christmas. It's a little creature. It's a little creature. We have two books of the little creature. And it looks just like that. That's wonderful. Can everyone see this? He said, I wanted to make Christmas very special just for you. So I made a Christmas wreath. Is that a wonderful wreath? No. Ah, he tried his best. Didn't he try his best? No. Yes, he did. And I wanted to decorate some Christmas cookies just for you. But I couldn't stop tasting them. Do you taste cookies when you bake them? And don't they taste just mmm good? How many of us help bake cookies? Yes. And are we going to bake some for the holiday season? And share them. I wanted to find a Christmas present just for you. But there were too many toys to look at. He's having a good time. He's watching all those toys. So you know what he did? He says, I asked Santa to bring you a special present instead. He was too busy looking at all the toys. He didn't have time. But that's OK. He asked Santa to do it. I wanted to wrap the baby's present just for you, but the tape was too sticky. What happened? He got stuck with the tape. It was too sticky. I picked out a Christmas tree just for you. But it was too big to take home. Did he pick out a little tree? 
He picked out the biggest tree in the forest and he could not take it home. But that's okay. The thought was absolutely wonderful. I wanted to carry the Christmas balls just for you, but the box was upside down. What happened? Oh, they fell out. So I got out the Christmas lights, but they were all tangled. Do your Christmas lights look like this when you finish? When you put them out? You're so organized, yours don't look like that. I wanted to put the star on top of the tree all by myself. Who helped him out? Dad. Dad helped him out. Isn't that Dad's great? I tell you. On Christmas Eve, I tried to go right to sleep just for you. But I was so excited. Could he go to sleep? He was too excited. He wanted to wait and wait. And when Santa came, he was going to jump right out of that bed. And that's when Santa came. But guess what? The little critter was asleep. And when he woke up the next morning, I didn't want to make you get up too early on Christmas morning. So he ran down the stairs, and what is he doing? Peeking to see all those wonderful toys. He wanted to know what they're doing. So guess what? So I brought my toys upstairs to show you. Did he get lots of wonderful toys? And who is he showing to? Mom and Dad, because he didn't want to wake them up. Isn't he a wonderful little creature? Yes, he's absolutely marvelous. Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad, he said. Excellent. What was the name of that story? Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad. Tell me, are you going to get some wonderful gifts for Christmas? Are you going to give some wonderful gifts for Christmas? Yes. Are you going to give Mom and Dad presents? You know, Mom and Dad likes hugs and kisses just as well as presents. They're absolutely wonderful. And Grandma, and who else? Kristen, who are you going to give a present to? Mom and Dad and baby brother. And who are you going to give a present to? I already bought some Christmas presents. That's excellent. I bought one for my sister, one for mommy, one for mom, and one for dad. And lots of other people. That's wonderful. Andrew, who are you going to make? Oh, David. Daniel, I'm sorry. Daniel, did you buy presents already? Do you have a gift list? Yes, I bet you do. Wonderful. Guys, who are you going to give presents to? Presents to everybody? That's great. Now, everybody that wants a present, say yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Everyone that's giving a present, say yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Have you written Santa yet? Yes, yes, yes. Santa, send those presents on down. We want them for Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Excellent. I want for my birthday if he comes for my birthday. That would be wonderful, but he only comes at Christmas. Why? Because that's when it's cold. Do you know why Santa wears all that fur? So he won't get burned. So he won't get burned by what? The fire when he comes down the chimney and there's a fire. That's Ooh. why he has that special coat. That's why he has a special coat. All right, so tell me, why does he wear the big black boots? Because so he won't get burned on his feet. So his feet will not get burned. And so tell me, why does Santa have rosy cheeks? He eats a lot? Why does he have rosy cheeks? He eats a lot. Okay, now tell me about the white hair, the beard. Why do you think he has the beard? Because he's an old man. He's been around a long time doing this, and it's about time he had gray hair. Okay, tell me about his gray hair. You don't know. Okay, one more thing. What do you think Mrs. Claus is doing while Santa is out delivering Sewing. those toys? Sewing? What else? 
Making supper. What else? Cooking. What else? Um, making cookies. Making cookies. Mrs. Claus could be doing lots of things. Now, what about those elves? They've worked very hard, and Santa is on the sleigh with all of those toys. Tell me, what are they doing? That's right. What are they doing now that Christmas is coming? and they have put all the toys in the sleigh and Santa is going off and now they're at home. What can they do, Heather? Mm, make more toys. Make more toys. Do you think they start right away? Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, you want to tell me what you think they're doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, they start right away. Okay. We just talked about the elves. The very last story is the story we all love to hear right before Santa just comes to our house and leaves us all those wonderful gifts. The night before Christmas. Ooh, are you ready for this one? All right. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not even a um, The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their Their mama was in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, threw open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear or what? A miniature sleigh. And how many? Eight tiny reindeer. Can you imagine? With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be <gasps> more rapid than eagles his courses they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher and Dancer and Prancin' and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donna and Blitzen. Where are they going? To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, everybody. Dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys. And who? St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bath. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. He looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, and his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His drool little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stub of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly and it shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed <laughs> when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head 
soon gave me to know I had nothing to dream. Are you afraid of this guy? No. Nah. He spoke not a word, but went right to his work. He filled all the stockings, and he turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. But we heard him explain as he rolled out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all of you. Thank you very much. All right. Did you enjoy those stories? I'm glad you came. Would you come back another time if I ask you to? Great. And if any children out there want to be a part of storytelling with Miss Willa, make sure you look forward to my announcements that come out sporadically to give you and your children an opportunity to come down and put, partake of WCTV and all it has to offer for our community. Will everybody say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas! How about to Mom and Dad? Merry Christmas! How about Grandma? Merry Christmas, Grandma. Great job.